Well, thank you for joining us, 21 Days of Prayer. Today, January 21, restoration through love and forgiveness. Job had been richly blessed and protected by God. He was a blameless, upright, and righteous man who revered God. He lost all his possessions, his children, his wealth, his servants, and his health. His friends came to console him, but instead of consoling and comfort, they blamed him for his problems. Even his wife became discouraged and despised him. Job prayed for his friends, pleading God to forgive them. And in Job 42, verse 10, God restored all of Job's possessions. Job remained a faithful and righteous man before God. His story inspires many and is a profound influence to many. A gentleman, David, a follower of Christ, worked in an international company. His manager displayed anger towards David most of the time, so he started to pray for his boss every day. When his boss arranged a party at his home for all his employees, David attended. He was shocked to see that his boss's son was sick and in bed. With compassion, David started praying for his boss's son, who totally recovered. This compassionate act of David touched the manager's heart. He started behaving kindly towards David and his fellow workers. Dear friend, we learn from the prayers of David for his manager's son and Job's prayers for his friends. We may be experiencing difficulties in different areas of our life. However, we can also be blessed and be restored by our Lord if we show love and kindness to others, forgiving each other as God in Christ has forgiven us. Let us not be satisfied with just giving money. Money is not enough. Money can be got, but they need your hearts to love them. So spread your love everywhere you go. That's a quote from Mother Teresa. Our prayer focus today, talking about people in need, is to pray for those in financial need. Would you take some time to pray for the financial needs of those you know? Let's pray, Father. Please give me a heart of forgiveness and a heart of love towards others as you have loved me. In the loving and gracious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. If you're reading through the Bible with us today, I invite you to read Genesis 27, 28, and 29. Read Genesis 27 through 29. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. 21 Days of Prayer. God bless.